All right, folks, the deck is Excavate Evolve Shaman. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of minions and then turn them into better minions of a random cost so that we can bash our opponent in the face with them. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Watch this! Feels like a lot of people at this rank are taking um, Kali's suggestion yesterday and just playing a bunch of Treant Druid. Maybe not Tree and Druid. Uh, I think this is the mill deck, so we gotta like scam quickly. That could help. That's actually a pretty good roll. That may be worth putting Wind Fury on, just to get a bunch of damage in quickly. Especially if we can get uh, Ogre Fisk Boulder. That's annoying. And mild. Candle, but slighter. Shadow spell. No ramping. No. Okay, there's the due process. Oh, come on. On no way, they have so many big minions in this deck. <laughs> that is incredibly unlucky. Could have been Yogg, it could have been the other Titan, it could have been the double Naga giant, it could have been a, the Anubs. Like, that is just unfathomably unlucky to hit, like, the singular small minion in the deck. Yeah, Topior, like, the it, Phi. Rothal, it's not about the minion's size, it's about how you evolve it. That's what I keep hearing, but... It feels... Feels... Quite bad still to, uh... Like, look at these... Look at the size of how much armor they're about to gain here. Seven, that's the Topior. Twenty, here comes the, uh... Yep. I, I, it's just impossibly unlucky how... <laughs> how small that minion is. Where you followed? Where you followed? Um, well, actually, Raffle, it's not impossible because it happened. Time waits for no one. Cool.
The worst part is it would have been such a sweet play if it worked out, too. I just feel angry and disappointed. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. At least you've got a taunt in the way, and I've got, a, like, evolves in hand. We don't get to choose the size of minion we get, and letting society set expectations of minion size is more damaging than just accepting that minions can be any size. I hear you, and I agree in every situation that isn't this very one right now, because I'm... Because I'm angry. Oh, sure, stand with the cause until it affects you personally? Yeah. That's the American way. Sacrifices must be made, except by me. Is there a world where we get lethal? Probably not. Oh wow, it is random. Nine this time, that means it's Yogg, right? Yeah, but do you that, Red? All that hemming and hawing and we still win. But you know what? I can see. That was a very frustrating game. <laughs> Alright, everybody is playing Brand Warrior, I imagine. What lurks beyond the firelight? So let's do some scamming. It's a good curve. Got a fair number of options. Seems easy to infuse with this hand. Armor, armor. Probably just here. Huh. No damage on the minion. Our face doesn't matter too much. And then we just never stop excavating. This totem is putting in a lot of work, though. Kind of an unfortunate name, though. Jeez. Oh, hey, they've got one, too.
expected to happen eventually. Quick a dime to draw this lady. Okay, so now your turn again. Taz Dingo, by the way. If only I were more patient. Why does this guy require so much infusing? Both of those have death rattles that are likely to be good value for me. They were, in fact, good value for me. Alright, keep the needle dick and maybe even buff them up. Coin here into here. That's probably ambitious. If we were on the play, chasing that type of thing might make more sense. I think we're still trying to sneak this out. I think they're just still playing like the... Mining Velarock deck, probably. Wow. Okay. Gentle, 
This opponent really hates totems. Relatable. Actually, let's just roll a real easy 50-50 here. still hate totems. The turn of the tides didn't line up very well, and if that had worked out, it would have been potentially game-winning, but never lucky, I guess. I don't think we're winning this one without a Golganeth. Fish Finley, even. I was gonna say, I was hoping to save the Finley for the Scourge Illusionist or the Drilly, but. Still can't. Just want to find that Golgoneth now. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Quite. We don't yet die to the Astalor, but very likely die to the Astalor. something that heals me. And even then. Like, I've just been desperate for this Golgoneth the entire game, and I haven't been able to find him. Maybe this is a Golgoneth in hiding. Wait, it's only deadly poison, right? Okay, I just have to hope that I get some healing here. And that I'm able to play it. How many dragons is this? Not a lot. If I get Zilliax, it won't be playable here. Lead with this. Just 
just die if I do that, so it's got to be in here. alive? It does not. It was a good roll, though. The forest fights back. What lurks Bosh? beyond the firelight? One, two, three, four. We are ready to declare a thumb war. This looks familiar. Beauty is more than scale deep. I think we probably do evolve the kobold. You're welcome, Cathandrian. I smell gold in their waters. What the heck is this? Oh, it's just the Treant Druid with the minor build. Okay. Seems like a good use for the coin. Score. Could also set the second muck pool next turn. And, um, like either hero power or if we hit the needle cock, we could do that. Um, and then hold it for the, uh, Baroness. And just get a big board swing next turn and pray that that's enough. trade into any of those, they just get worse for me. Beauty is more than scale deep. Okay. Fourteen is not a lot of damage. To me. That's nice of you to say. We all exist in harmony. Okay. I don't think the cultivation should be super active yet. We just We'll clear this room. This helps me actually get a second uh, or playable treasure. Bloodlust. Ballbuster is fine. It's only 22 damage, unfortunately. So we pop here. That's a really good hit. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's also a really good hit. Oh, 
And we're just playing around the cultivation board swing. I don't know of any cards that really save them here. We go again. Embrace the chaos. Oh, hey, it's what Vosh again. Beyond the firelight. That's a good hand. Just need to draw the needle deck again so that we can fill our hand. Ah, Renneth all this time. At least that makes the brand a little bit uh, less consistent. Job's done. Well met. Hope this mini set shakes the meta up a bit. Thanks for the entertainment. Oh, and obligatory move. Appreciate that, Ian. I give away the, uh... I give you the nine months. Oh, okay, this is actually... Pretty silly when combined with one another. Seems strong. Relax. Let's warm you up. Okay. It's a big cobalt. I mean, I've seen bigger. We need to brag about our kobolds? True, true. It's really about how you use it. Everyone knows that. Coin brand. Coin trial. What story will you give my work? I don't like that. Wait, what? Oh, right. So you're a fan of my work? Hmm. Impressed by my bloodless display? No. Bonk! Oh, bad timing, too. Desperation here. Just need a source of damage off of this, or off the top of my deck. That's damage. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Ignis. Let's just uh, keep the needle dick and see if we can keep up with the opponent's uh, armor gain, which we won't be able to. So we're just going to need to high roll out of our mines and do it quickly. Off to a bad start. Raffle, I think you misspoke. It's Needle Cock. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Oh, is it aggro? That might just be, like, okay for me. Probably preferable. It's gotta be aggro if they go in face with this. Gonna need that Golganeth again, jeez. Uh, I don't like playing this game every time. The strong flourish is only natural. It's a good pickup for this, at least. Make it five mana minion. Wow, what a downgrade. That was a six mana minion, that's why.